taking no that's a promise, not a threat. Uppercut, season, off top, you stop breathing. Legend gold. Yeah, and that's a perfect segue into our next topic. You know, and, you know. It oh, oh, so hold on, we we smoking a a, a skybox pack, uh, what Sky Sports pack? Yeah, Sky oh, Sports Lord. boxer pack. But what, 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 <laughs> what, 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 what we smoking on? We smoking on the uh, RJ pack. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I, I think I think we need to smoke on this closer shields, not getting a KO pack. You know, because uh, yeah, after. We okay, so I right, so y'all niggas get into that. Let me just pull, let me pull up this real quick. Let me write that up. Yeah, because uh, I mean, as you know, I mean, this, it's, it's what I was waiting for. Yeah, because uh, I was I really couldn't go in on nothing else today. Like y'all niggas hate Thurman. I'm not gonna get on going on, on Thurman. Like, well, I didn't, I didn't get on Thurman though. No, but like after, oh, but, not, not you. I'm just saying in general. Like, yeah, yeah. I know we got some random motherfucker in France or some shit. Yeah. That's like Sacre Blue. I hate this Thurman nigga. <laughs> so you, you you know you know just like there's some random motherfucker that you know can't stand when we talk about Lomachenko or, or yes for some you reason know. you know just like some people they they can't stand when we talk about Lomachenko but the minute we shit on Wilder motherfuckers it's like hold on wait wait, wait what oh no I'm here for that like <laughs> yeah exactly and then people and I think I know people in the past have definitely. Got at me for talking about Cursor Shields in some fashion, you know, whatever. You and know. The, and motherfuckers hate for that, and we honestly, we just be objective. It's like we don't like this is ring gang. Like no one's paying us to say this shit. You know, this is all coming from our heart and soul, our mind. Like we boxing fans. Like right, you know, saying like you know. I agree. Sometimes, sometimes you not just respect where it's coming from. That's all. Cause there's a lot of motherfuckers get on their platform and just be capping and saying all types of shit. Never respected the sport. Never threw a jab. Never went into a gym. Right. None of that shit. Right. Don't know how to wrap their hands. Can't even. Never, you know, can't never wrap their hands and never never put Abilene on their body. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, never, never put Abilene on someone else. Never got haze. Never never took medicine balls to the stomach. You know, just because yeah. you lost the bet, shit like that. You know, a gym full of uh, a gym full of professional boxers and amateurs. Yeah, or even tough man people trying to knock you out in front of people. <laughs> so it's okay, like, now, wait, wait, wait. some of this shit just might be just ring gang shit. Like you know, <laughs> right? We, we live different lives. We live wild lives, but you know, other other shit. That, yeah, you know, I didn't expect the motherfucker to damn have a goddamn. A Shaolin Kung Fu fight in a boxing gym. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know that, that, that shit happens for us, not you regular people. Like, nah, nah, nah. yeah, yeah, that, yeah. That, you that, can't that, just do what you told. Don't you know? Don't have your father damn throw Ray Mercer across the ring or some crazy shit. <laughs> you know, that, 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 leave that shit for us. Like, you know, <laughs> yeah, that's that, that's that's just, that's just nothing more than a ringing shit. That's that you know, that's the shit that you know that that happens. You know yeah. when you do that when you've done this shit before. You know? I didn't. I didn't had the damn. <laughs> what was that shit when Gad Boy got into a fight in the gym? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't had that shit type of pop off. Like, oh man. So that. So so that will fall that out the way. Let's get it. Let's get into this motherfucking shit. Yeah. Tell them why you fucking mad. What's up? Let, let, let's start with the fucking co-main God. Like, let let them have it. Yeah. You know, Corsa Shields and Ema Cozen. You know. Now, obviously, this was the big UK debut for Cluster Shields, you know, and then obviously, you know, there are people like, you know, because as we know, Shields doesn't get, you know, in the US, you know, Showtime doesn't really air fights like they used to, and Shields have been doing independent pay per views, of which we don't know what those buys are still. <laughs> you know, you know, yeah, we, we definitely had bars for that in the past, you know, so yeah, so, you know, she, so she signs the boxer, she gets this big spot. You know, all to lead to what will be a super fight against one Savannah Marshall, her Olympic rival, uh, in the summertime, give or take. You know, so this was this, so this was pretty, this was pretty much you know the assignment. Fighting Ema Kozin, you know, twenty one and zero with one draw, you know, with eleven knockouts. So okay, you know, this will probably be you know a pretty good fight, you know, a good opponent for her. Uh, and the fight would go. 10 rounds. Now, now I know people's like, you know, that's closer to show. Why does it go 10 rounds? 
Well, the reason why it went 10 rounds is this is one of the fights where we we thought it wouldn't go 10 rounds like once it started because uh, Shields was, I think for the first four or five rounds was really- It was a female version of Thurman Berrios. It, it was, thank you. That's a perfect comparison. Like, Cozen didn't seem to be, like, Cozen seemed to be hesitant to throw some shots. I'm like, you have 11 KOs. What What is the problem here? Like, what is you doing? You have a you have, you have a damn near fifty percent KO rate. Like what are you fuck are you doing? Like she was she was like she was pawing out her jabs. She was like pulling back on her punches a little bit. Like what is she doing? Like hit her. Like do something. And then Shields was hitting her at will. Like you know it it, it, it like she threw anything she walked for and and, and just like was like letting those hands fly. And Shields has fast hands. Like it was like boom, 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 boom. And Cozen looked uncomfortable like early. And, and you say Shields opponents don't really aren't really affected by a power like that. So I'm thinking to myself, okay, this is gonna be an early night or some shit like that because Cozen doesn't seem to be taking them shits well. And it got to the point where it was like second, third, fourth, fifth round. Like Cozen looked like she looked like unsteady. Like there was, I think there was a round that she was she was probably like saved by the bell and shit Yarn. like that. Was that? Yawn. Yeah. But then after that one, it seemed, it seemed like she kind of gassed from throwing all those those shots. And then Cozen was able to survive her way to the bell. Uh, yeah. That, so optics. And then, you know, you have Savannah Marshall who put out a tweet of her, you know, sleeping. <laughs> I, I can't blame her. I can't blame her. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, like, you know, so pretty much... That shit was boring as fuck after five rounds. That shit should have stopped it by the sixth round, honestly. Yeah, like, honestly, and in front of this, too, all these excuses about, oh, they training harder, they're better skilled, this, that, that, two minutes, this, that, that, bull fucking shit. I don't want to hear it no more. You can't call yourself the GOAT or the greatest or whatever the fuck if you can't stop opponents like this. Yeah, and if that's Urban the, was calling himself TBE, y'all niggas would rip him to shreds right now for that performance. Right. <laughs> and that's the thing. And like Chris Closer Shields has skills. Make no mistake, she does have skills. But uh, but the biggest criticism of her skill set is her punching. It, like it, it, it might be her, it might be the only legitimate. Dude, she wasn't turning her honestly, she wasn't Slap turning her. her punches over. She was flailing. Like this time, it was super noticeable. Like she, I felt like she's hit her previous opponents with better punches than this girl. Like this girl got off light. Yeah, and the funny thing is too, uh, Cozen. Uh, I haven't seen an opponent get that much get affected by Clarissa's punches in a minute. Like, like yeah, that, that was the thing. Like, I mean, I can't even remember the last. And time it didn't I- make her angry or nothing. Like, like come on, like do something. Like I know the hands are fast, but like try. Like, cause when they would trade. The girl would land on Clarissa every now and then when they traded. Mm-hmm. And I think Clarissa ended up even having a cut too. She did. Which is like, I'm like, oh my God, like, I don't ever want to beat somebody up like that bad and still get cut by them. Like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's like stepping on a road to her aunt and then like your shoelace become untied or some shit. Or, <laughs> Fact. Like, like, I don't know. Like, <laughs> A nigga knock off some leaves on the Timberland boot. <laughs> <laughs> like that's that's some like anime shit. Y- y'all let me, y'all tell me. Like what is that? Yeah, it, it's it's like it, and like I said, it's legitimate criticism. Like like I said, I mean she, she's skilled, but if you're out here calling yourself the quote, you only have two stoppages. You've only dropped one. You're flailing, pun- you're flailing punches straight in a row with no head movement, with your chin up. With an opponent going straight back and you still can't hit him. Right. That's hey. the fucking problem. Like, I don't care who fucking feels offended by this, but I'm just saying, like, you cannot, you can't question why people would think Savannah Marshall beats her. Like, yeah, this is the exact reason. This is the reason why Savannah Marshall pops off as she does. Savannah Marshall may look, you know, maybe look a little gangly or whatever, but Savannah Marshall is probably a top 10 women's puncher. She punches. Hard a puncher, period. Like, dude, and, like, and punches two boxes like a dude. Like, honestly, it, it, she, she does, sways like, back and forth, holds her hand, holds the lead hand low, kind of lulls you, 
but then rips you with uppercuts and hooks and one twos like yeah, yeah and like, they're heavy shots yeah like, Savannah, like, uh, like an avalanche of punches on you right and and i know people are like well damn you know you know ain't y'all black you know, why aren't you on code like so why are you saying all this shit it's about being fucking on code it's about it's, it's real shit cars. yeah it's like it looks and, and truthfully I mean, let's say savannah marshall like i'm not she's not like a master boxer or anything like she's far from that she can box yeah. yes you know but she but as a puncher she punches pretty fucking hard and you she know. turns and punches over She puts her fucking weight behind her shots She mm-hmm. fucking bends her knees She dips She does all the punching mechanics To administer hard shots On top of having heavy hands And there's a difference between punching correctly With heavy hands mm-hmm. and, he- and having heavy hands And just you know Being a puncher punching. You know right. me, me personally I got like, like Niggas done told me I had bitch hands Like my hands are like Soft and shit for drawing and creative shit. Like, <laughs> I got hands, nigga. I fuck you up. I got hands. Like, don't get me wrong, but mm-hmm. like, you gotta know, like, just like a trainer, like, you gotta take what's given to you and mold it so it could work its best. So, me, I practice punching sharp, turning the punches over, timing, accuracy. Like, you have to do that if you don't have heavy clubbing hands. But even if you have heavy clubbing hands, if you don't learn how to set up your shots and and really turn your punches over and punch correctly, you'll be like a Orlean, uh, you'll be like a Salido, Orlando Salido type of puncher. Right. Although mm-hmm. Salido can actually punch, but I mean, right yeah, now, you can actually fucking punch. Like uh, maybe he's a bad example, but I mean, right you, now, right you'd be now, like feels- Lemieux when you could be a fucking uh, Vladimir Klitschko. Mm-hmm. Where did, now there's a noticeable difference in their punches. One's a crude slugging type of punch who can fucking knock your brains out. The one's an all time great, like KO artist, high level puncher. Right. Both both will give you the same result, but one got a better chance of doing it again and again on different levels of opponents. Like, like Shields hasn't shown that yet. Right. It's, it, it, it's just it's just it's just crazy to me. Like no one has actually sat down in the gym. Like yo, you're not punching correctly. Like. Turn your punches over, like it's, 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 I don't know what good what is. I don't know what it is. Like, it, geez, oh my god, how can you say that? Like, you're so actually, you're like so correct right now. Like, yeah, like it, I know, look, nigga, I know there's somebody who said that shit. It's yeah, just, well, what, yeah, definitely what, someone like here. like let's say because it, it, it's bad. Like you know when if someone like if you're not a pro boxer or whatever you criticize her or whatever on that she's like well I win like the point is to win but. On Twitter, Alicia Baumgartner also said the same thing. You know, Alicia Baumgartner is a puncher too, and, and she's she's not a he- she's not a heavy puncher like Savannah Marshall, but she can punch. She's a sharp puncher, and you know she's. Obviously- I don't know. Her punches look he- pretty. Her punches look pretty heavy to me. But who who punches look heavy? Alicia Baumgartner. Uh, Baumgartner. Yeah, right. Them just look heavy. Like, <laughs> but I, I think, I think, to me, I think she's more. She, I mean, she can punch, but I think she's like a sharper punch. She's not like Savannah Marshall. You, you can, but boom, boom, like you know, hers aren't yeah. that heavy. But that's why that might be semantic. Like, some, Savannah Marshall, like both, it's like it's two different types of puncher. Baumgartner is more explosive. Where like Savannah Marshall's more heavy-handed, like beat you up. Like really, yeah, kick your dick in the dirt type of punching type. Right, <laughs> right. And then Bob, and then obviously Bob Gardner. You know, she scored a career best victory in, in, in a, and of course the WBC Super Featherweight title with stopping Terry Hopper, who, had, who was undefeated with one shot that had her doing the smooth criminal slide and shit. So it's like, yeah. Now Monster could have did the same thing, but by the time it would have happened, like Harper would have already been like a bloody mess. That too. <laughs> oh, that, that, that's really the difference. Like some people, you could punch. Some people could punch. Like like me, like I, me and Pack could punch the same person. One of us, if one of us make him bleed or gives us some type of visual effect, you might say that's the puncher out of us. Mm-hmm. Like that, that's what we're, we're trying to say, basically, to type shit. Right, and then but but Baumgartner, she and she went on Twitter too. Like this is one of those rare times, you know. You're like you know, see, well, why is a why is a why is another champion fight? Another why is a black woman criticizing another black woman on social media? Like y'all no, gotta stop somebody this. Somebody said that shit. You serious? 
People were saying that shit. Yeah, Bob Gunner was like she she wasn't she was watching the fight live. She was she she made a comment like, well, her punching is not there. And then you know, and she and closer she has got you know kind of got defensive, gotten her feelings a little bit, and she was like, yo, I'm not a yes man. I'm just telling you what it is. Like you can fight, but it's just telling you what it is. And then people coming after her was like, oh, you're done. Oh, you're you need to be canceled. Uh, well, why could you? Why, why, why do you need? Why, why aren't you supporting your sister? You're just jealous. You know, you gotta stay you, on you cold. Lost- yeah, yeah. There was a whole bunch of things. Like- That's why we're losing overall. Like, like if we can't fucking administer valid criticism and be objective and tell the truth and be respectful about it, how we gonna evolve? How we gonna improve? Like, I, uh, like. This, that's the wrong shit to be on code about. Like I, I'm saying, my nigga. Like this. Like is- there's some shit you could be on code about. I get it, you, you know. But like, like, like y'all gotta stop this shit. Like you, you guys are gonna be the type of person be like, if like one of those dudes who's like, yo, don't yell at my kid, but then get mad if your kid wanders off into the middle of the road and get hit. Right, <laughs> and I'm just here, you know, looking at my phone and shit. Mm-hmm. And I could have yelled at the kid and be like, "Hey, hey, hey, get out the road!" Nah, nah, don't yell at the kid. You know, I'm not gonna walk over there and politely yell, you know, tap him on the shoulder and say, "Hey, Billy," you know, <laughs> ours be going through here in this bitch. <laughs> I fast out the road. Like, nah, I'm not gonna do all that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna yell at the kid and say, "Hey, hey, get out the road!" Like, what you doing? Exactly. And, and, y'all, and it, y'all want it fucking dressed up, mailed out on the Pony Express, sealed with a kiss envelope type shit. Yeah, and let me let me read the like the final quote exchange between us two. So Clarissa was like, "You said you questioned my punching power, which I take as sarcasm, because if I didn't punch hard, girls wouldn't be running and not standing in the fire with me." But listen, your opinion is cool. I just don't have time for it. My friends don't say stuff like that about me. And then Alicia is like, I did. I'm referring to your punching power, not transitioning into a KO. I can't question that. You have all the skills in the world, but you did have time because you commented. I want what's best for you, and your attitude kills that. I'm not a yes man. Good day, sis. God damn. Bars. Bars, my nigga. Bars. Yeah. Yeah. That's bo- Bro, like, it, it, I don't know if you're not a fan of Bomb Garter right now. Like, I don't know. Like, you hating. Yeah, but truthfully, I, I, can see I know that. y'all gonna turn this into some light skin shit too. I know y'all gonna do that too. And, and you know what's funny too? Because I think it, because remember, she's she's training the same gym as Tony Harrison, and Tony Harrison is one of the biggest shit talkers in boxing today. So and I'm not Tony even sure, Harrison I'm not, can fucking punch. So and Tony Harrison can also fucking punch. Yes, yeah, Tony Harrison can punch your fucking head off. You know, although he hasn't been doing that lately, he can do it. Because that's I mean, that's, that's at 154. So bless his heart. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Everybody's be everybody's punching heads off over there, like. <laughs> yeah, and it's, and like I said, it's just it's just crazy to me, like just reading the comments underneath Alicia's tweets. Like people are just really like, so uh, yeah, yeah, yo, you gotta send me that tweet. I ain't even see this shit, like, cause, like, wow, like that's that's crazy, like. Yeah, like like, 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 like the group whole... chat or some shit, like. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll do it. Yeah, because like, it's it's a whole like it's a whole period. Like pretty much every Alicia tweet that the, the exchanges between her and Calissa, like there's a whole bunch of retweets and quote tweets and replies underneath there. And I'm just shaking my head like yo, like like yo, like if the shorty says that you know she's trying to you know she's trying she's trying to give her sister some criticism, just some honest criticism. It's not like she's hating on her. She said she picked up her skills, but you know, her punching is not where it needs to be. Like take it as such. Like and, and it's be- not. It, it's not like you think. You think Cozen would have lasted. Uh, would have went the distance with fucking Leia Ali. Leia Ali would have damn had her out of there. Christy Martin had her out of there. Like, like hell, if, if, if she was, hell, if Cozen was in the ring with Savannah Marshall. Savannah Marshall would have killed her. Savannah right. Marshall, like every every fucking top level. S- Serrano had her out of there. Like. Pursuing had her like, dude. Every top level person we're seeing would have had her fucking out of there. McCaskill had her out of there. Superbed, they fucking had her out of there. Like, yeah, it's like, it's I don't, so I don't. Mean, it don't matter the weight division in this shit. Like, right. I'm yeah. sure there's some broads off a of world star hip hop fight comp that had her out of there. Like, seriously. Yeah, because it's like no fighter that that that, that was clearly bothered should have lasted ten rounds. You know, like that. Thank like, you. Like, and, and and honestly, it's the damn 
you could tell that shit hurts her like the criticism like but it's legit criticism it's like like god it's like y'all getting it's on some kevin samuel shit now like can we tell y'all anything like who can tell y'all something like i'm saying like yo it's like yo just let just let this shit you know like i mean like it's not yeah, just like she stinks or whatever or whatever i mean so and like i say but that's the whole reason why savannah marshall like you can call her in savannah marshall you can call her all types of other names like, i see the names that people call like that but savannah and like you know in but you, you honestly cannot just sit here and say, oh, Shields, when Shields talk, oh, yeah, I'm going to stop you. You, and you. you honestly can sit there and believe that. You can't. Nah, you can't. No, nah, you can't. I mean, that would be... Like, Kozen, see, the Kozen fight is telling because Kozen was in front of Shields all night, mm-hmm. tried and opened up just enough to get hit, was hurt se- and buzzed several times. Yeah. Um, it's not like somebody like 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 the Christina Hammer fight, cause cause Hammer, she became real negative in that fight, mm-hmm. and she really fought to survive, so the opportunities were minimized. So if you argue that against me, I'll give you that. You know, I'll chill. But you really can't be an objective boxing fan and look at last night's fight and say nah she could have got her out there especially if you one of these motherfuckers that's complaining about Thurman not getting someone out of there right. same <laughs> fight same fight mm-hmm. the funny things too is I, I saw a couple of accounts that were that were that, that were contradicting each other like that one that was saying okay Thurman should have gone bar us out of there but then the other one was like go oh, closest to quote you shouldn't have at least you should have never said that to her like are you fucking kidding me like what kind of, like what kind of fans are you like that's what, that's what I'm saying. This is where I get oh, shit, man. Like, dude, like, look, man, if we're going to have more black fans or African Americans or more woke fans in the sport of boxing, I'm all for that. I want boxing to grow. But if y'all going to be like that, like, I'm good. Like, if, if, if that's the energy y'all bringing, like, I don't know, man. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, y'all, yeah, yeah. And I'm like saying, this is because, like I said, you know, you know, me, LB, you know, P too. You know, like we're like we're old, we're we're old fans. Like you know, like 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 we some of us we pre, we predate boxing social media. Like we like like that. So it's just like we really like you know like we, we can talk about our caveman days and this shit all day every day. So it's just weird when you have these type of fans in there. You think you know that thinking like well you can't criticize someone like this and then because you know oh you're not on code or. They call you a whole bunch of you know slurs and that shit code like that. shit only works when people just pushing an agenda. Anyone who got an agenda is always jumping on that code shit. Like, right? Like, yeah. sometimes it just comes down to like, you know, you see what you see. Oh, so shout out Joshua. Oh, oh. Seal says that she drops men during her sparring sessions. LOL. <sighs> I mean, I like to see it, you know. I yeah. I can't talk like shit. The shit, female drop me in sparring. I, I ain't shit, nigga. I ain't. <laughs> shit, shit. Some of these bras can crack. Fuck that. Like, yeah, they can. You know what I'm saying? Me seeing but, that just shows how much respect I got for women boxing. Like, so take that of me. Y'all can say like, damn, you know, damn, bitch, knock this nigga down. Like, yeah, yeah, you fuck it, you know. Right. Beat her ass afterwards. Don't get me wrong. Fuck out of here. No. But but I guess it's different though when you hear her saying that. Oh, you know she can knock down Thurman or oh no she can handle yeah, like, or, really? or she can handle Triple J who's who who people in hybrid divisions don't even want to get hit by for, for that matter. Yeah, so it's like see, and that's the thing. Do that to the women you fight and see if Savannah Marshall was saying she was stopping guys and sparring, I would be like, yeah, but she do. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> But for Shields to say that I'm like stop, like okay, like what when, when y'all play knockout kings, like yeah, <laughs> I'm saying you, like you you pick David Tua, yeah, I bet, like <laughs> <laughs> you know, like yeah, you, you pick Lennox Lewis, yeah, yeah, you stop at everybody, huh? <laughs> right. Uh, so like I said, I mean, she won, you know, good for her, you know, she won, like you know, you know keep the whole fight with Marshall alive, though, but. Y'all got y'all have to be extremely careful of how you be talking about this shit because, like I said, you know Savannah Marshall, you know, can 
can, has a very good chance at beating her. Now, Ed, educate yourselves because y'all are going to be heartbroken. Heartbroken. I'm telling you, y'all going to be heartbroken. If yeah, that fight comes off and Savannah Marshall stops her or, or knocks her down or beats her ass. Right, cause, I mean, cause, I mean, I think I think we some of y'all should have learned from the Fury Wilder situation. Like sometimes, honestly, you know, like I, I I didn't even want to bring it up, but fuck it, you open the door. Um, I, I had to because we also started his shit. Um, with the whole uh, <laughs> hold on, didn't you say he could beat him blindfolded? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, organic and shit, organic <laughs> face, yeah. You know that that was a classic. You shot. said four boastful words. <laughs> I, I intend to see them play out. <laughs> I love that show. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's just like yo, know, y'all gotta be like if you want if you want to be a woke boxer fan, like the best thing you can do is actually learn the shit. You know, like really Thank learn. You. The- Thank you. Say say that again, man. Say it again. If you want to be a boxer fan, just learn shit. All you gotta do is just learn shit and then learn and. You know, because like I said, because there are a lot of people out there that just say whatever, and they sound stupid, and then they get pressed after that because they, sound because they got a big platform doesn't mean it's like legit, like boxing knowledge or some a real insightful shit. It comes from everywhere. I'm just telling you that. Like, I'm not saying names. I ain't putting nobody out there. Just if you want to be a boxing fan, fucking become one. Like, learn that shit. Like, yeah. It, Hit a fucking gym. Watch some boxing tutorial fights. Watch some older fights. Right, you know, don't, 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 coach don't. interviews. Like, learn this motherfucking shit. Like, yeah, like not every, not wow. everything. Yeah, not everything needs to be on code. Everything like, you, there's there's a difference. And Clarissa Shields, like I said, there was you know, she you know, she won. She fought. You know, you know she you know she got the W. Whatever. But if a, if another champion fighter is telling her this. You don't need to be jumping on you know, Clarissa Shields nuts like that and be like, oh, well, you know, she's the quote, this quote, that, and calling her out of her name. She could, def- she could defend herself. Like, why y'all trying to take away fans from, from like, first of all, we got a niche sport. Yeah. And then y'all are talking about a gender specific part of a niche sport, which is more of a niche inside of a niche sport. Yes, sir. And y'all are trying to separate those two and not root for either and only root for one or the other type shit. Right. And that's fucking like crazy. How, like, that's some backwards ass woke shit if you're trying to be woke to begin with. Exactly. Like you got two black people that y'all could promote and be happy that it succeeded. And y'all up here talking about canceling and failing and girl, why you hating and sister this, that, instead of saying, you know what? Maybe this sister has a point And really go back and look at the fight And look how she's flailing like a fucking goddamn um, Fucking cheerleader in a damn cafeteria bra Like yeah, <laughs> like really look at this shit Like like oh my god Like like we, the, the sport don't need fans like that Like honestly No nah, it, it really don't you know and, and it doesn't, Even it, women's fighter is not gonna grow if you If she got fans like that it, exactly, you know, because like, and women, and, and like I say, you know, women boxing has come a long way, but you don't need that type of separation because one from one woman for doesn't agree with the other one. We're like, no, that's bullshit. Like Chris Shields, it's you know, don't do hate and shit. Like we, we, we call out the hate and shit. Like mm-hmm. I re- remember with the, the Serrano with the uh, uh, the Bridges uh, Courtney fight. The whole, I mean, if y'all like. Um, the uh rockets rock em, sock em. yeah the bloody shit yeah she, wife, and, you know be my guest like and i'm yeah, like yeah she but don't get, fight like that all the time <laughs> yeah she got yeah she had to get caught off never like, had no like, like, fight you back like that <laughs> yeah so it's like you know alicia bongard is like, yeah alicia bongard like, alicia bongard said nothing wrong Chris exactly. Shields, like, she can take it to how she wants to take it you know that's her you know but it doesn't mean that you you know you jump you you jump on and the oh you know and just create another champion fight because Baumgartner is a champion. She's a she's a world champion, and she won her title by knockout in impressive. But fashion. brutal, not one of the better stoppages of the year last year, and it's like, yeah, yeah y'all, it's like, <laughs> like damn, it's like no one can say nothing. I mean, God could come down and just be like, you know what, like this broad can't like punch and throw like a giant cobweb, and it's like. Y'all would see her not punch through that, and y'all would still be hating. Like, 
And then yeah. who y'all gonna hit next? God, like the fuck out of here, like come on, like yeah, y'all, yeah, y'all, 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 y'all felt right. weird shit, you know what I'm saying? But at least though, she did her part, and you know, Marshall does her part. She, I think, she fights soon, and then we'll we'll see. Because if Mar- Shields and Marshall does not happen, I know my, my nigga LB says like this, it, it will be the boxing would have shot itself in the foot if Shields and Marshall does not happen this year. Biggest be- missed layup ever. Yeah. Ever. Ver. Yeah, the bigger, big, the, it'll be the biggest one since not getting Floyd Pacquiao in 2010 or 2011 or 29. Right. Seriously, and it'll just be a catastrophe if we don't get this fight this year. If there's one fight that needs to happen this year, oh, and it's mostly because it is energy I'm already getting and seeing like out here, but. Mm-hmm. We we need to see it come through, like right, like like I say. I mean, they have history in the in the amateurs. They had their face to face where you know they both were talking shit to each other in this that and the third. And you, you know, need subtitles though for like one person. Yeah, yeah, no, it was a trip to me. Like you know, the translator was trying to translate what Savannah said, and they all speak fucking English. Like what the that fuck? accent. Like, <laughs> yeah, I was like, what kind of shit? Is Yo, that? when yeah. Mr. Shields looked at it, like like what the fuck did she say? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> no, you honestly Shields is a fucking star. Like, oh my god. Like her her expressions and the realism, like the emotions, mm. like <sighs> it's like the best parts about her is like the worst parts about her sometimes. Like that's facts. The, 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 that's that's the thing about it, cause man, like she really should be like a superstar in movies, everything right now. On TV deals, reality show, everything. Like she should, but I mean, we we. But you we, gotta knock these hoes out, man. Fuck it. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. That's why the. That's yeah, why you gotta knock these women out. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta, and you gotta make this Marshall fight. Somebody, Marshall, you better fucking not lose, man. Don't stub your toe. Don't. I don't give a fuck. You cannot lose your next fight. You know, you gotta, you gotta get this fucking Shields fight. Absolutely. It's a both of Shields did her part. Marshall got to do her part, but um, yeah, especially since you know, boxer and Sky Sports have put so much money behind Closer Shields and all this shit. Like they need to have, they need this has and to. And the fans, like, like oh my god, like, <laughs> and like, like legit, like yo, if this is not one of the top five fights you want to see for this year, I don't think you're a real boxing fan. Facts. Like, like I won't even say top three, but top five like honestly this is this could be top three because mm-hmm. i mean how many better fights can you come up with outside of this like really exactly so yeah so uh but we, we gotta have bars from a man um Ooh, eubank chris eubank yeah chris eubank and Williams, that was the main event now chris eubank like i said chris eubank see chris he, he's 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 kind of a unicorn because usually you know, when I say people, you know, when I when I say when I people who, who kind of lack technically, I always think, oh yeah, they're not in the gym enough, or they're not getting good instructions, they're not training hard enough. That is not Chris Eubank. Chris Eubank is a boxing and gym rat. He's a, he's one of the most public ones too. Like dude lives, eats, sleeps boxing, and I don't say that about a lot of boxers. Like dude loves. He, he got the money and the resources to do so. He's like he honestly he lives like the best life you could live if you're like a boxer. Yeah, like dude, dude trains. Like, big, go to any gym in the world, has the money to live there, and don't be on some Ryu bumming shit. Like, yeah, like dude, be <laughs> in the gym. Like, like, like that's the thing. That, that's the thing. Like, I can never like his his social media. Every day, him and him and his trainer Roy Jones, like they, they in there putting in work. He does work. Like dude stays. Like, there's no such thing as uh, he's oh he's always in shape. Like. Like pretty much, he has he has the type of mentality that you like. Okay, like this guy could be this guy could be something, but when he gets in the ring, it's just a whole other story, and it's, it's been the story of his career, starting with the, um, the WBSS stuff. Like prior to his first love, I mean, he got you know because I mean he got noticed when he decisioned Arthur Abraham, and it was actually an entertaining fight for him because Abraham, Abraham fights are not entertaining I mean, like that. You gotta go. You gotta start from the beginning. You gotta start from the Saunders fight if you're gonna talk about dude career. Yeah, that's true. You know, which, so which fight. another fight where he looked good for half the fight and not really that good for the other half. 
right which is the story of his career really right and then but then at, and, and, and let's say he lost a close fight but then it was a fight it was a fight that didn't really dent his reputation all that much because saunders was saunders at the time you know he was still under no it was but it was it was the come up fight for both like it was one of those like you don't even get fights like that that often right and then so let's say saunders would go on to win the belt like shortly after that fight so right yeah and it was more so like like what what would these two young men do later on in their careers type of fight like, right and then do and did do went on a, on a tear after like i mean and he ended one career because he, like, he gave somebody a brain bleed but he was he was stopping these guys you know and then the arthur abraham fight was the fight he needed to win to get into the wbss and you know and like i said Abra- arthur abraham at that point was not entertaining to watch and getting a good fight out of him to watch was like pulling teeth and he did that like dude yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah dude did dude did his thing uh, off of abraham like she was clear like it was it was great for, and then the avni yodrum fight now the most in uh, our instagram the most views comments we've ever gotten on any of our posts was us posting a nightly knockout of him sending yodrum to the fucking to the fucking grave and shit to another like, round to the, <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah, you know, to the further and shit. Like you know, he destroyed you. He, he destroyed in the you. Phantom Zone. Yeah, into the opening round, and and it had everyone looked like he was next because dude was dude like you know Yodrum was out of there, and you know, this nigga was standing like he was like he he like he wanted to tell niggas who who's fucking next, and then he gets Groves for the belt, you know, for, he get for the title, and he fails, and that and that he fails significantly because. Groves is, I mean, he's older, and Groves dislocated his shoulder in that fight. And, and Groves just outboxed him so easily. And it's yeah, like, exactly. And it's like, what the fuck? My goodness. Like, that, 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 wasn't, and, supposed, and that know, wasn't supposed to happen. Groves is a good fighter, but the way Groves did, Groves did basic boxing. It's, it's how I felt when Frotch outboxed Abraham. Like, with basic, basic boxing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's up there. <laughs> yeah, and I was just like, "What the fuck?" And he, and he, it was like, and I was like, "What, what, what happened?" Because that, to me, that that was the WBSS 168 final, and like, Grove got himself a, a, a good victory, and it really exposed how limited he is technically. The DeGale fight kind of silenced that for a little bit, but then DeGale should have been stopped. This and well, and yes, yes, this is the thing. It can't silence it a little bit because. We're low. It's like we keep lower. See, this is the problem. We keep lowering, lowering our expectations for Eubank Jr., and then he never meets them, no matter how bad we lower them. That that's what I'm understanding because we keep lowering them. The, like it's like, okay, you get a good little action fight with uh, past it, past it, past it, and Arthur Abraham. Okay, but well, that's just like giving. Vladimir Hernandez props for having a good fight over uh, Angulo. <laughs> who, who, who's, who's the son of a legend and who's a, a touted prospect? <laughs> right. In, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, GP laughs, so he knows where I'm going with this. Yeah. <laughs> That's the funny part, right? I completely <laughs> get it. It makes sense. <laughs> Yeah, so yeah. I'm just saying. So like, l- listen to us. Like, like, like. And, and if any, if any, of you motherfuckers out here talking about damn, like, y'all be going in on some UK fighters, then you don't really know us. Cause yeah, no, we go on air, everybody. Like, right. Like, half half ringing is in the fucking UK. So yeah, shut your mouth. But. I'm saying like the gal was just one, and then <laughs> but then the car bump again. And, and just one more point to bring to that. Yeah. You know how bad he should have stopped fucking the Gale? Because there's a former super middleweight champion who beat him and that's his best win. <laughs> exactly. And his name is Caleb Truax. <laughs> like, yeah. come on. Like, so are you putting yourself on the same level as Caleb Truax now. And and that, and that's what and that's why it's just like okay, DeGale was on, but then you fight Matt Karabov and loses every second of that. Yeah, loses every second of that fight. Gets I mean Karabov is boxing this dude's head off, but Karabov unfortunately th- ripped his shoulder to shreds, you know, and you know that was that. 
And then after that, it's just like, you know, the performances are just like. And his name gets mentioned for a Jamal Charlo fight. Yeah. That yeah. nobody wants to see, but at this point, we'll take it because it's like neither one is like doing anything worthy on their own. So it's like, it's like, yeah. it's like one day you're having fries and then the next day you're having burgers, but you never get both of them together. Mm hmm. That's what that fight would have been, right? And I know, and in the, in the like I said, I mean, nothing, and it's just got he's gotten worse. Like his performances are just so uneven, you know. One went the distance, the other one was pretty much because the guy quit because he took a body shot, you know. Because but you know, but he couldn't. And that but, distance fight was horrible. That was on that Omega uh, fucking uh, match room card where yeah, like this nigga had the whole Avengers fighting and shit. The, yeah, 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 that oh, was yeah. Really? Taylor on that shit. Bavol was oh. on that shit. You know, Chazar Parker. I think it was. I think it was the first fight on there. Uh, yeah, it was, it was the first yeah, fight. Like... Yeah, it, it was. It was. It, it, and then now we get to Liam Williams. You know, Liam Williams. You know, has a little. You know, has a little. Uh, you know, he gave Andre a tough fight in, in a clear losing effort, though. Want to make sure, but the, and then they're all they're also talking that shit to each other. You know, they don't like each other. Liam hold Williams. on, just also mention the fact that Andre's people reached out to Eubank earlier, I mean last year after the Williams fight and to see if they had interest in this fight and you know, which is the fight for a world title which is what most people who start boxing do, um, they aim for it. and um, Eubank people had no interest in fighting for a world title God forbid. So you know? he, had, he already had a no, no. The reason why we gotta say this shit because if we get on Mungia for this shit, we gotta call it the hundred and hundred. Right. Motherfucker had an open shot at a title as is, and 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 Andre people shouldn't even be hollering at fucking Eubank people. First of all, facts. So that's bad as it is, and then you say no. That's that just makes it worse. Like. So keep in mind that So remember this is a fight This is a forced fight A forced fight You know But it's a forced fight that has Entertaining potential Right And then you get And, then, and he gets in the ring and you bank for the first Three four rounds You know is looks like he like Look like look, look, you know like we always say this He looks like he's like he's next I mean, he he's busted like he's beating up dude. Like Williams is like is on queer street. Like immediately, the jab knocked down, quick counter is knocked down. Like Williams looked like he was ready to go, you know. By the, by the third knockout, which was like was in the third or fourth round, like you know. And then all of a sudden, and as it is in other fights, you know, then Eubank decides to get on his bike and you know starts bullshitting. Like it starts playing with his food, like. Dude, I mean, it's one thing to play with your food and if you're punishing, dude. And it's one thing just to play your food just, you know, just because you think, you know, you're doing it. And, like, it, it was it was disgusting. Like, you know, he, he was doing the shuffles and stuff like this. And one thing that I mentioned to the guys before we before we uh, went live is, you know, you been... Oh, go ahead. Now, I was saying, like, it's unnecessary to play with your food when the guy can't take it. Like... Exactly. That's what makes it so bad. It's, it's different if you're fighting a guy who's tough and he could take a beating and you start playing with your food a little bit. But if, if you know the guy can't take it, just fucking down, get him out of there. Like, right. I can, like, and the shit he talked afterwards to justify the performance was just horrible. Like, I don't know how, I don't even know how this guy got fans. Like, yeah, and this is the worst thing too. Like, I mean, as I mentioned before, Chris Eubank trends with Roy Jones, and like I said, Roy Jones is a one in a lifetime type of fighter. And there's not a lot of fighters you can say that. Like, dude is really like, dude was probably the ultimate super athletic boxing brain, like I I keep boxing IQ type of fighter. Like, no, I don't think few people have ever mixed both at the same time at the at the high levels that he did. And I know Roy tries to teach that, you know, because Eubank is pretty athletic. But one thing that I think Eubank does do. Is he's got he he he's got a lot of Roy's habits like bad habits. Roy does and Roy did have them, you know. And it was, the problem is Roy was 
super athletic. Eubank is, doesn't have that super athleticism, so it just looks awkward when he does when he when he gets on his when he starts doing that. So, yeah, you. you Eubank, Eubank, and Pascal both come off as fifty cent versions of uh, Roy Jones. Like I'm not even gonna say Dollar Tree versions, nigga, fifty cent versions of <laughs> fucking Roy Jones. <laughs> they they the shit at the Dollar Tree that you could get two for a dollar. Yep. <laughs> you know, and 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 it's like, yo, like, what are you doing? You keep playing with your food. You scored three knockdowns. Like you can knock them out. Like what are you doing? He and did not you know, tabs like. Right. And the worst thing is Williams was getting himself back in the fight. You can see Williams was starting to land his right cross often. Like, and his tab. Like, the dude literally brought himself back in the fight with a 1-2. Nothing else. Yeah, and this was the same shit that that, that had him got, that Groves beat him with. A 1-2. This was the same shit that, that uh, Karabov beat him with. A 1-2. That, this, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a sick pattern. Like... And what and what pretty much but what wrapped up the fight for Eubank though was he scored a fourth knockdown late in the fight. Um and then like and that yeah, was more like a push slip that should have been a nothing. Honestly, that was his bailout. Because right. the fight could have been a draw, like or, or some shit. Right, yeah, because if you like if you knock somebody down four times without returning a knockdown to twelve round fight, you've pretty much have wrapped up the fight ninety five percent of the time. Uh, yeah. Like the best result is either a draw at that point for you know because he know, honestly like, won the first four rounds and three of them were ten eight, mm-hmm. but he didn't really win a round after that. Nah, you might get given one more round after that five round. Okay, yeah, he wins, but it was a horrible fight. Like for somebody so dominant in the first five, first four rounds, like yeah, it's like, like, I would not be proud of that performance, but he was like in. That's why I think it's it's a mental thing with with Eubank. Like he does things for the wrong reason. He finds joy in the wrong shit. Like yeah, and, and I he don't think he'll ever improve. Yeah, like like this dude. That's what that's what kills me. Like there's no way that someone that someone who's a boxing gym rat like this that lives in a gym should be lacking technically like he does. Like either either he's struggling to find an identity. Or you know, he has I, I, identity is is this is the mental part because the thing is, if he would have got if he would have got Williams out of there in the fifth round, we would we'd be talking about how great he looked and how how he finally pulled off the Roy Jones style. Right, and then we would be talking about, oh yeah, this dude should, yeah, this dude needs a title shot. But now it's like, but yeah. now we can't talk about that because that wasn't the last in image. He he truly gave us the the sour bite to end the meal. Right, and I know, and he's been calling out Triple G. Like Triple G can beat this version of of of, of Eubank pretty easily. And Eubank is Eubank going to be Eubank was fucking around taking shots from Williams like the shit wasn't affecting him. You can't do that with Triple G. Oh, cool. Like he was pushing his head back. Like yeah, if a Williams jab will fucking could bring him back in the fight, just God forbid what a a, a Golovkin jab would do, or a Mungia jab, or a Charlo jab, or a fucking. Who else? Who else? Like, th- does Eubank even beat Rosado now? Like, yeah, and I, and I, I, I doubt that. And the other thing is too is like he's been calling Saunders out on you know Saunders out too for a rematch, and even that shit might. I mean, you might have to even lean that towards Saunders, like maybe on some sixty forty type of shit. <laughs> you know, it's and like his fights were appealing. Like, like I, I don't know. Like, it's like this brash arrogance, and it's like. The type of level, like he gives James Tony arrogance, but has a Eubank Junior performance, right? And 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 that's that that's the disconnect here, like yeah. Uh, and and like I said, I mean, I know, I mean, I know Eddie. Well, he's not. Uh, well, he's not on on uh, the zone. Sky Sports, I know, wants to make him because you know the the Chris Eubank name is something in boxing, especially in British boxing. You know, I, I know Chris. You that ain't know. it, man. Like he's like you're legit not taking title shots in order to give this type of performance. Yeah, no. That, like you, at least when Mungia does it, he gives us good ass fights and he beats the shit out of guys and he he stops them. Like you can't do that and give us this type of performance and then try to. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to Rusty Taylor. I see you. 
Eubank has his dad's confidence with no accomplishments. Yeah, yeah facts. Yeah, absolute facts. Yeah, absolutely, like, absolutely. absolutely. Like, I'm yeah, just saying, yeah, like, like you're proud of this fight. Like, think about it. Look, you get into a fight at the bar, some drunk, and mm-hmm. and you make him miss, and every punch you land on this guy, you fucking drop him, and it's like. Do you think you should be fighting him for the next fucking fifteen minutes? Mm-hmm. <laughs> right? Like <laughs> people will start walking out, right? Like <laughs> seriously, like yeah. it, you would become a nuisance at that point. People would look like y'all having fun, like y'all are in on it, right? Mm-hmm. That's what it looked like. Like they're in on it. Like knock this guy out and get the fuck on. Like, gee. Yeah. Yeah, you make yeah, you make needs to get better with this because, like I said, I mean, if you want your title shot or whatever, man, like you know, like you, you, you like if you want people to actually care, uh, you, you want to feel like, like you earned the title shot because you 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 have title opportunities. But if you want to feel like you've earned it, you you got to do better than this. Yeah, no, yeah, and Leon, like some, I mean, I'll get I'll get I'll give Leon, Leon Williams more credit for actually getting himself back in the fight, you know. Because he does after a deficit, you know, but yeah, like, hey, damn, it's like I wanted to give Eubank props for this performance so bad. Like, I literally was just waiting to just tweet some shit, like, or, or, or just be like, oh man, like, Eubank, you know, he unlocked the Roy code, like, but nah. No, nah, it's like you literally, like, you look good for like five rounds and then you unplug the controller. <laughs> Like yeah, that's like, literally like you went to you started kicking the goal like into the other team goal like it's like you started running to opposite touchdowns and shit like you know, for real you know so yeah it, it's it's just yeah it's just like Eubank is like you want like you want like Eubank has all the ingredients to be a star in the sport but he just can't put it together in a way that you want to watch him you watch him in another fight or think he has a chance against another champion like that you just- honestly this double header was telling yeah because because both of them shields and you big they're like one in the same right they but just when you really look about when you look at it like yeah they could they, they can both apply some hurt but they can't finish what they can't finish it yeah but Except let, one- like they could stop godzilla and king kong and, and monster zero and and Goku and who else out there? Right, you know. But then you know, though in the, but they can't. For, for, but they can't stop a lesser opponent. And the Clarissa, you know, would be blaming the corner and the ref, which is which is some bullshit. You make will just be running off of the mouth saying whatever, and you know. And I wanted just, to teach. My, I wanted to teach him a lesson. Yeah, exactly. Like, shut the fuck up! Like you teach him the lesson by getting him the fuck out of there. <laughs> That's what yeah, you're like, uh, like honestly, like. The, what lesson? Lesson in coming back from being down five zip, like <laughs> right. I mean, what like, if if that was the case? Then you know, twelve round fight. Like William should have lost the fight by like one twenty to like one o four, some shit like that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You weren't supposed to give me the remix for fucking Peter Quill and the uh, Hassan and Dom. Yeah, exactly. So it's like we, we were supposed to get the damn Pacquiao Algeri numbers. Exactly, exactly, and the fact that he, the fact that the, that the larger that he didn't win this fight by like ten at the minimum is telling for four not with four knockdowns, four, four it's knockdowns, and, and you're having a life and death skin of your teeth win like nah, yeah, for shame, for bad shame, bad. yo, yeah, yeah, I get the better. You, 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 even, get like, better. You, you mean to tell me you weren't inspired to do better than Clarissa Shields' performance? As a, as a competitor, <laughs> so it's like oh y'all really just want to piss off the fans at night. <laughs> I'm saying like I, I'm absolutely. And that, that was supposed to be pay per view. Yeah, thank God, you know. <laughs> shit, thank, ah. I, you know, thank thank God, you know, it wasn't you know I didn't watch it before any pay per view means you know, but it, it shit shit held me down like steel. <laughs> you know, I've been on this one. Damn right, senior would have put an opponent like Liam to sleep early. Damn right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eubank Senior was built different. <laughs> you know, Dude, Williams wouldn't last like, and for for y'all shitting on Andre, like, oh, you know, 
Eubank looked better. No, the fuck he did not. No. Andre won like maybe ten rounds, <laughs> eight eight or nine rounds out of that fight. Eight eight at the least. Mm-hmm. And scored a knockdown. Honestly, you could say Andre fucking ruined Williams. It's like Williams had like no punch resistance at first. Right. <laughs> and Eubank still couldn't stop him. Or didn't want to, or whatever the fuck you want to use to justify it, like, right? This is horrible. Like, I give that performance a C. Yeah, the same. Yeah, it, it, like it, it started. Just- like, how, how bad can you fuck up the damn Scantron? <laughs> what do you do? Oh man, no. but like I said, I mean, it was a good week. It, 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 overall, it was it went in a boxing though, but the, yeah. I guess we got the worst for last. Right, you know. So. The most shit we had to go in on. Everybody is like, the podcast was all happy and shit. And then it's like when they got to these two, it's like we turned to like disgusted parents or something. Yeah, shit. yeah, cause, uh, yeah. Cause, I mean, I mean, looks like I mean, Eubank at least doesn't have the bull- some of the bullshit Clarissa Shields fights have. Whatever, but yeah, I, I, I had to get my shit off on the Cross of Shield shit, you know. Nah, both, was, both their fights be on that bullshit. What's the last Eubank fight you enjoyed? Yeah. What's the last Shields fight you enjoyed? Yeah, and that's all. And, and truthfully, that's all the question you have to ask yourself. And then if you, you know, and if you, and if you, if you're real with yourself, you know, it's not a recent fight. That's for damn sure. <laughs> that's why Shields goes viral. And Eubank goes viral over KOs and shit and sparring videos from years ago and not shit recently. Mm-hmm. Like, both these guys, they got enough names and following and resources where their fights should be going, their clips should be going viral. Absolutely. Like, honestly, like, they didn't, like, they're not giving you material to work with. Oh man, you know, it, 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 I'd say it's it's a it's a different era. Sometimes, sometimes you have to remind yourself, LB, man, this shit is different. Like some of these niggas is ever dudes don't look at it like that. Like, like, like dudes dudes look at it like we're being mean. Like we're looking at at it harder, but we've always looked at shit at life this way. So maybe the world is different. Like I don't know. Like, yeah, and and that's, and that's a perfect segue into our. Fight.